we could be on the precipice of history this week on Power Pro Wrestling with our huge main event matchup. He's Mr. Ooh La La, I'm Brian Zane, and Mr. So Much is on the line in this week's main event between Amira and Funny Bone. And I'm not just talking about the Power Pro Wrestling Championship. I'm talking about pride, I'm talking about ego, I'm talking about the recovering heart of Funny Bone after what happened in his wedding ceremony two weeks ago that was destroyed by Marcus Eric's Cleaver and Eliza True. He still has that on his mind, and now he's got this huge title match against a very powerful opponent in the Tower of Power, Amira. Well, as they say, there is no rest for the wicked, and no rest for you, Funny Bone, the most wicked of them all. Your weekend, your little heart, your little black heart, has a few last few pumps in this little broken film, and here comes Amira. She's been fighting, she's been working out, she's been training, she's ready. But can you, funny mom, put your personal life to the side for one moment? Forget about Marcus Eriks, forget about Dr. Cleaver, forget about Eliza True, forget about a lot of them, forget about your spoiled wedding, and focus on that Power Pro Wrestling Championship, and be prepared, for no matter where that wheel lands, you are going to have to face the Tower of Power, Amira, one of the most dominant uh, stars to come out of power since she began two years ago, and now she's reached the very edge of the peak of the mountain and she wants to stand on top and to do what she's going to have to knock you down. It's been quite a journey for Amira. You know, she started out as a fan. She became a member of the ring crew, started training. She was uh, an interview, uh, interviewer here at Pal Pro Wrestling, became a wrestler and has been on one of the most inspiring runs ever since. Of course, she won that number one contender scramble match uh, several weeks ago, pinning Jonas Alpha Robinson to earn the right for this matchup, like you said, mister, she is one of the most dominant stars in POW. It's going to be the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. And hey, you mentioned the Wheel of Regret. The match type is going to be determined once they get in that ring by the spin of the Wheel of Regret. So many different stipulations are on that wheel. And where it lands, that's the match they're going to wrestle in to find out who will become the POW Pro Wrestling Champion. Mister, I got goosebumps sticking through my sweatsuit right now. I'm so excited for this main event. It's Amira. It's Funny Bone. It's next. If I was Jet Knight, I'd be Leary too. I would be too. I'll oh, shake anybody's hand, especially the coronavirus. That's right. Oh, that's where I've got some hand sanitizer. That's pretty smart. She, she, she would, is just happy to oblige. I mean, I would say go get a beer from a fan, but she's so. got to go back to Madison Middle School here. My name's Amira, and you're gonna see me in a way you've never seen me before. I know that people think I should be afraid, but I'm not. I know that my hard work will pay off. Juicy, uh, what's going on? Why'd you interfere in the championship match? I've been the underdog my whole life. To be the best, you gotta fight the best, and I'm gonna fight to win. I'm doing this for everybody who's put their heart, their soul, all of their time into something, and they just want to be seen. Oh. A big slam oh. by Amira! Got him. Can he end? Got him. She good. can it! Oh, and Amira with the slam! There on Jonas, is it enough? One, two! He's got him! She's got him! Fans watch me sweep up the ring. They watch me be an interviewer with you. And now they're seeing me become one of the most dominating forces in pro wrestling today. I'm going to become that champion that they all see in me and the champion that I know I can become. Soon, you're all gonna know my name. I'm not here to be great, I'm here to be the greatest.
Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest is for the Pal Pro Wrestling Championship! <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, what a main event match we have for you this week on Pal Pro Wrestling. Two weeks removed from the unholy matrimony, the wedding gone to hell, Funny Bone has got a huge assignment ahead of him as he defends the Pal Pro Wrestling Championship against the number one contender, the Tower of Power of Nira. I'm here joined by Jonas Alba Robinson, Bulldog Bob Brown Jr. Guys, you can see Amira is dressed for war, and we are still waiting for the stipulation to be judged by the Wheel of Regret. That's the biggest thing that I'm worried about right now. She looks like she's ready for war. Funny Bone looks like he's ready for war. And now we've got the introduction coming up in just a second by Ghost giving up to Funny Bone right there. As he salutes his, his son, who is he's not able to speak and here, so this is an opportunity to be able to see it in sign language. The original nightmare, the demigod of death. Yeah! This is Buddy Boy! Yeah! The demigod of death. He looks ready, but mentally, guys, you gotta wonder, 
What's going through his head after what Marcus Aarons did to him? Of the match stipulation that got us here today. This match stipulation will be decided by the wheel of regret. Come on, I call your attention to the tron. Let's spin the wheel and see what the match is going to be. All right, Ron Pandy's match. Throw we'll over to the big screen here at PK Park. We'll find out where the wheel is going to land. Round and round she goes. Is it landing here? Whoa, last man standing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, perfect for her for wearing the war outfit. The stipulation is as such when one person renders the other opponent prone on the mat and unable to answer the 10 count, that person will be your Pearl Pro Wrestling Champion. All right, last person standing. What a way for the Wheel of Regret to land. And I tell you what, just from the eyeball test, I don't know how Amir is gonna make it through this because we've seen Funny Bone put himself and his opponents through some of the most dangerous and diabolical things to ever occur within those, those three ropes. But if you watch him mirror though, she's not willing to back down from anybody. That's well, I'll right. tell you this right now, I don't think Funny Bone even sees Amira in the ring. Well, you didn't see Amira, and that's why you lost the number one Wait contendership match. The and bell's rung, so here we go. It is uh, all or nothing here for the Tower of Power. She has worked her way up. Think about the way Amira started her career, fellas. She was just part of the ring crew. She was helping as a student of the Oregon Pro Wrestling School, just happy to be there. And then, of course, she became Pow's interview girl. And then she got in the ring. And as the months and months went on and the wins continued to pile up, there's one thing for certain. I think Amira is ready to become the POW Pro Wrestling Champion, but what is she gonna do to outlast Funny Bone in this last person standing match? You, you see Funny Bone right there saying a bunch of things to Amira, and Amira's not backing down at all. Oh, she looks tough. She looks completely unintimidated. Even though she's giving up a lot of size, a lot of experience. Tell us your thoughts on what you think of this match up here. I think the only way Amira's gonna win is she drops an A-bomb on the ring. I think right now, Funny Bone does not see Amira. He sees Marcus Eriks. Oh, look at this. Talk about that size advantage, and Funny Bone is a strong man. Amira is strong, Amira is tough, but Funny Bone is a completely different animal. Shoulder tackle, uh, also ineffective. But Amira didn't go down. There you go, goes for it again. This is gonna be the kind of matchup that definitely favors Funny Bone because you've gotta do a lot to keep him down for the count of 10. Well, we've seen him involved in matches involving Legos, glass, barbed wire, you name it. Amira, though, off the road. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> like a Mack truck. She went down hard after that shoulder tackle, guys. It's going to be a long night at the office for the Tower of Power. Unless people get all upset about the fact that it's a woman versus a man here, the fact is that both of them have signed this contract that states that they will appear in this matchup here. There are no questions asked. They will wrestle, Absolutely. and they want to. You know, we... Oh, my goodness, pal. We have the best professional wrestlers regardless of gender, and you've seen Amira take on men and women here at POW, and she's damn near beat them all. She has done very well, but I don't think she's ever had a chance at the heavyweight title before, has she? No, this is gonna be her first true championship opportunity. The way I see it, I mean, it's a win either way for me, because either Funny Bone loses the title or Amira gets taken out for good. There are certainly a lot of people in the back who are gonna be, oh, watching this match with keen interest. Oh my goodness, combination of strikes. The champion Funny Bone is on a roll in the early going this week here on POW. And Amira better, start counting. Amira better get her act together because she's gonna be out of here real fast at this rate. The referee's gonna probably wanna wait until either competitor is down for at least a beat before referee Bradley starts to count. And that could take a while. When you look at Amira, I mean, even though she's getting the worst of it right now against Funny Bone, she's got one of those things that just doesn't get, oh, oh, my goodness. We got hundreds of folks here around the ring here at PK Park, the home of the Eugene Emeralds, also the home of the Oregon Ducks baseball team. 
And they're, they're up and down the stairs again like they were last time. I mean, it's, it's incredible. We have, we have fans up in the balcony. We saw fans in the seats here at PK Park watching on the big screen. They're loving what they see here. Oh, my goodness. And it's yeah. taken out to the ground now. And I'll tell you, this is not a place that Amira wants to be. Oh, Ooh. nice evasive maneuver by Amira. Funny Bone smacking that rock hard ring post. There's and no give there. You heard that chop. I, I'm surprised he didn't break a finger on that one. He could have easily broken a hand bone or two. Oh, my goodness. Big elbow strikes to break out of that, but not quite. It's not, I don't know if either of you two have picked up on it because you're not as keen of a listener as I am. But uh, for maybe the first time, Bunny Bone's been in Pal Pro Wrestling. It sounds like the crowd's not completely behind them. Well, that's true. I would agree that, that you know, Amira's got her fan base for sure. Amira is one of the most popular stars in Pal Pro Wrestling. It's honestly a toss up for me because this is a matchup between two of the biggest fan favorites in all of Pal. Oh, big headbutts. I know when we got to see matches with Funny Bone and Drexel, people couldn't decide who they wanted to see have you know, the win in that match. It was simply because of the fact that they, they couldn't cheer for one or the other. And both of them offered such great oh. discipline. Oh my goodness. Big senton by Funny Bone. Amira has had some signs of life so far early in this matchup, but boy, Funny Bone. Do you guys, Amira, Funny Bone, does not want to fight Amir. And I don't think it's a cowardice thing. It's because his mind is still so focused on what happened two weeks ago here on POW. It was supposed to be a, a beautiful marriage, a beautiful wedding between Funny Bone and his fiance. And then what did Marcus Eriks do? His supposed good friend, Marcus Eriks, turned his back on him, ruined the wedding. Uh oh, look oh. at this. Uh, Funny Bone almost got picked up by Amir, but throws a couple elbows in the back. And now, oh. Oh, like you mentioned, Jonas. Funny Bone sees Marcus Eriks in a mirror tonight. Indeed, you're right. You're right about that. Well, I mean, as most married people can tell you, Marcus Eriks did Funny Bone a favor. Well, come on now, Jonas. Well, wait a second here. Now, we got the count. This is the first count that we've seen. He's up to four. Right. And now Amira's up to her feet, so she can have that count broken. But I'll tell you, that's... Uh, that's the first time we've seen a count in this match. That's right, last person standing rules. No pinfalls, no submissions, no disqualification. The only way to win is to render your opponent thrown on the canvas for the count of 10. And now Bradley up to two here. Amira's gonna have to dig down deep. She's going to have to withstand a hell of a lot of punishment if she wants to not just beat Funny Bone, guys, but survive. Well, the worst thing about it is that you get counted like this, it can have a big thing on your psyche for sure. You know, you've got that thinking that, am I going to be able to dig down to the reserves to be able to fight that another fight? And right now, Funny Bone's got a chair. Funny Bone is sit, sitting in it. Stalking his prey, it would seem. Jonas, I know you've been in at least one last man standing match. What is the mentality when you're in a match such as this? That's Funny Bone with another strike. Well, if you're the one who's down, you try to milk that count, get your rest in, try to get your wits back. And just keep going until, you know, the other person can't stand it. I'm talking about keep going now. He's funny bone back out to the floor. He's, he's under the ring now. What's he doing? He's rolled under the ring to get something, and he has produced a trash can. Well, the first, uh, not the first weapon, but it could be the first of many in this matchup this he's week. He's got remnants of that oh, mirror. A broken mirror. Well, that might have been Charlie Avell's. Look out! Oh, oh, no! Boy, that was a heater. Right to the dome of Amira. That might have been a double. Right now, taking a look to see if Amira can continue. Referee Bradley now resuming his count, but. Folks, it's a sellout at the curtain. It's a sellout here at PK Park. We've got wrestlers spilling out of the back here, watching on. Well, because he, they could easily be the number one contender for that heavyweight title. They want to see what it's going to have to take in order to beat Funny Bone or Amira for the title. They're doing a lot of scouting, but also you got to believe that Amira has a lot of friends. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, man. Up, bro. A lot of friends in the locker room, but only one person to worry about right now as she tries to maybe suplex Funny Bone. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, nice evasion by Amira to get away oh, from that. Oh, and Amira. Oh, oh no. <laughs> She <laughs> ate the chair. Oh, there's a fastball right down the middle, huh? My goodness. Oh, Funny Bone now going to capitalize, oh. slamming Amira down, crushing that trash can. There's nothing left of that trash can whatsoever. And now Funny Bone is going to sit in the corner, catch his breath, 
as Amira is now subject to the 10 count. Four by Bradley now. They got Amira. Ready? Get a, the reason I, I bring up all the wrestlers uh, around us watching, guys, she has a lot of friends in the back. She's a student of the Oregon Pro Wrestling School. She's the first female graduate. Many of her colleagues are here in the PAL Pro Wrestling locker room, and you gotta believe they are gonna support their friend Amira. Everyone's got the can again, throws it off the side. You know, he's willing to do anything and everything to keep the title, and Amira needs to know that, and she's learning that big time right now. Funny Bone yelling at Amira now, stay down, you can hear him say. Live to fight another day. I think Amira has too much pride to let herself stay down if she can help it. She wants that Pal Pro Wrestling title as bad as anybody. You can see her trying to desperately swing at Funny Bone, but seeming to have no effect. Just how many times are you gonna get a shot at the heavyweight title? That's no. the question. I mean, Amira had to outlast several other individuals in that scramble match to become the number one contender. Oh! She moved her way to a victory in it. Well, that's, that's one way of putting it, Jonas. Trading strikes now, but Amira still on her feet for the time being. And Spenny Lone grabs a hold of her again. Now Amira breaks oh. free. Look at this. Amira is not gonna go quietly into the good night. She wants that title, and she's going to do whatever she can to bring Funny Bone down, but there'll be a lot of chopping of that Redwood. Oh! Uh, she has to wait to put behind these. Oh! oh cool. Funny Bone tired of waiting, going up to meet her instead. Look out for the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Amira with another evasion. Going up. Look at that. Oh, wow. She actually got... It got right between the eyes there of Funny Bone. Funny Bone staggered for the first real time all matchup, but still on his feet. Coming off the ropes is Funny Bone. Wait a minute, Amira, nice missile drop kick, and Funny Bone felt that one right in the gut. Look out, German suplex! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, turn around, Amira. Amira, don't celebrate too early, my friend. Oh boy, this could be a big mistake on Amira's part. Oh, oh. no! Eats an elbow and another one. Now a kick and another. Goodness gracious. Oh, oh, oh. God. I'm surprised she didn't fire the ring on that one. Funny Bone is taking out two weeks worth of aggression and anger and hatred that he feels toward Marcus Eriks right now. Amira seems to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Can she come back? But regardless though, this is gonna be oh. a good training session for Amira as well. Because even though she may win or maybe she may lose in this match, it's one of those things where she can use that to her advantage and maybe another shot for that title again. Who Amira, knows? Amira slipping out of Oh, but look at this, danger. she found the top rope there. Look at this, high rent district, look out below. Oh, oh. no, uh-oh. Funny Bone saw that coming and he prepared himself for it. Oh no! Oh gosh! Nice counter by Amira to plant the champion with that tornado DDT. Going for that slam there and Amira was able to hook the head just in time to get the DDT out of it. This is the first time that Funny Bone is getting a cap, guys. This, Absolutely. This in and of itself is tremendous for Amira. It's huge, huge, huge. It's a big confidence booster, trying to go for a slam. Funny Bone too quick, too fresh to stay down just yet. Wait a minute, look out, Hurricane Rana, and Funny Bone now outside the ring. Still up on his feet though, no count yet. Funny Bone now. Maybe try to gather his wits. Do you think he uh, you think he might be going into this a little overconfident or maybe not thinking clearly? I think in, in any case, Amira is one of those people that's definitely oh. hard. Oh, oh my Amira, god. Amira throwing herself over the top row. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Funny bone, don't do it. Don't do it. Not no! Oh, god. Stood on that open chair. Oh my god. That's it. That's gotta be it. That could oh my god, her neck could be broken. That's gotta be it. Get the gurney. Referee Bradley now starting the count. This could be the final count of this last person standing match for the POW title this week here. It could be all done for Amira. What a, what a valiant effort she had. But I wouldn't blame her if she does not answer the count at this point. Funny Bone getting to his feet right now, but you can see he's definitely worse for wear. He's definitely feeling the effects now. We're at seven, count of seven here. The match could be over. Wait a minute, oh up. my oh, God. She's up, she is up. How did she do that? I don't know, she did. She, look at that, oh look at that. God. She dug down reserves. She said, is that all you got? Wow, the toughness 
but is that gonna cost her? Is Pride gonna go before the fall for the Tower of Power? Oh, big pile driver! Stuff driver! That's gonna misalign your spine in a major way, and once again, Amira is down. Funny about not waiting for the count to be administered. Billy got something else in mind. Well, he knows that Amira got up after that power driver on the chair. I mean, what more can he possibly do? Bradley continuing the count despite Funny Bone making contact. But he's gonna go up top now. You can see he's torn that, that war paint off. That puts him in a whole other level. Bradley stopped the count now. Amira back up here as the sun sets here in Eugene, Oregon in the shadow of Autzen Stadium. Amira could oh. pull off a Kenny Wheaton-like upset. More guts than brains on this kid, I'll tell you that. If Mike. she defeats Funny Bone, look oh. out! Oh, that oh. knee strike, that knocked her. That could have knocked some teeth loose. Oh! How much more can she take? Oh boy, Funny Bone now, he's getting that momentum. He's feeling it. Oh, night, night indeed! That'll, right to the head. That'll rattle your beans. That's it. No covers here. The count has begun again. Bradley up to two. If it reaches 10, this match is over. Funny Bone, still the champion. The fans chanting for Funny Bone here, but now Funny Bone stopping the referee again. Now that is an interesting strategy. Funny Bone, I thought, we want to get this match over with so we can focus his attention on Marcus Eriks. I think he's working out some of the aggression he has towards Marcus Eriks. If he can't get Marcus Eriks, he's got Amira. He's Next best thing. Apparently so. Amira, though, we've seen the effort she's put in at the gym. Brings the chair in now, though, is funny bone. We've seen how hard she fights in the ring. If anybody can outlast funny bone in a match such as this, it might be her. And at this rate, I think anything's possible. Oh, Funny Bone's grabbing implements right now. He's already throwing the chair in now. Even for Funny Bone, this is a level of uh, aggression and sadisticness we haven't seen. Exactly, I would agree with that. Implements of torture being thrown into the ring here as Amira struggles to get to her feet. Oh boy, uh -oh. a table has been produced. No, no tables in baseball, but somebody could be Cracking that wood here tonight. I, not, not the kind of wood you usually see in a baseball diamond. Ugh. It's definitely not a wood bat for sure. Oh boy. Well, I gotta tell you something right now. You know, Amira is, is a gamer, but can she take this? I don't know about that. I really don't know. As Funny Bone sets up that table. We've seen what Funny Bone can do with tables, can do with doors. I can still recall what happened the way he stomps through people with those tables. And imagine what might be going through Amira's head the moment she sees that table. What's gonna be her fate? I don't know if she even notices that the table's there. She looks out of it right now. Funny Bo now, he wants to send a message. He wants to prove a point. What's Funny Bo got in mind here? That chair sitting very close to them. I don't like where that's going. Wait a minute. No! Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Spine buster out of nowhere. And Funny the, Bone clipping that chair. The back of Funny Bone's head hitting that open chair seat. That made it fly damn near out of the ring. As both competitors are down right now, the referee administering the count. A draw is possible in the last person standing match. If neither person can answer the 10 count, it would end in a draw. Count of four now for both competitors. Funny Bone is crawling under the table. Amira is the closest to getting back to her feet here. Now you gotta get off of your knees to stop the count, correct? That yes, is, you gotta be to your feet. You gotta put your feet up. Funny, and yes. Funny Bone is to two feet. Amira back up to two feet. And now these two have found themselves back into a corner. That's that table sitting ominously behind them. And you can see Funny Bone's getting rocked right now Look by at Amira. This. Big shots in the corner. Amira suddenly finding a second gear. Where did she get this from, fellas? Well, I think Funny Bone hitting the back of the head on that chair is what oh. right oh. there. Oh, oh I think that headbutt's gonna oh. be what does it for Amira. Goodness gracious. Oh! That is a skull on skull action, and it's never pleasant. 
It's, it's hard enough for the person giving the headbutt, much less for the one receiving it. You know, I really don't know oh. how hard a head Funny Bone has. I've seen him oh. in those matches, and I know he's oh. pretty hard there. Oh, my goodness. I guess you'd call Amira hard-headed in the fact she doesn't know when to give up. Well, and that's the thing. If you want the championship, you're going to do whatever it takes to get it. Sacrifices need to be made when you're fighting for the ultimate prize in Pal Pro Wrestling. Oh, my goodness. To the top what rope now. Maybe a Hurricane Rana of some kind, but she's got to act fast. Oh, no. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Amira, look Picks out. Her up. Wait oh. a minute. Whoa. Funny Mom repositioning on his shoulders oh, now. Oh, no. I don't look like out. That. That's oh. my driver. Oh. Through the table. Oh, man. That's it. That crushed Amira. That could be it. But it also crushed Funny Bone as well. Funny Bone sacrificing his own body to put Amira through that table as it breaks into dozens of pieces. Oh, the referee's counting both wrestlers out right now. As you can see, both are struggling right now. We are at the count of seven. Funny Bone looks to be the first one to be getting to his feet. Is he gonna get up? Oh, Funny Bone is down. Wait a minute, Amira's rolled out of the ring. She's on her feet. 10, that's a count of 10. Amira just did it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me that Amira just won the title? Oh my goodness. The reign of Funny Bone is over. That was a brutal miscalculation by the Pal Pro Wrestling Champion. Going for it all, driving Amira through the table, but in doing so, he knocked himself out. He couldn't get up in time. Amira sliding to the outside. And by all rights, she wins the match. She defeats Funny Bone. She is the new Pal Pro Wrestling Champion. Can you feel it, Bulldog? That's why you got to check out live action for Pal Pro Wrestling when it comes to you, because you can see the most unique events like this. And my goodness, is a mirror celebrating the title. But Funny Bone right now, oh boy, I gotta tell you. But wait a minute, Funny Bone, he is back on his feet. Champion no more. What a rough couple of weeks it's been for him. First the wedding goes kaput, and now he is without his pal pro wrestling championship. What's he got in mind here? Demanding Amira come to center ring. Funny Bone wants to hold court, it seems. Wait a minute, look at this. Wow. Look. Talk about good sportsmanship there. Look at the show of respect by Funny Bone, putting the belt around the waist of the new pal pro wrestling champion. What a moment. Amira with her first championship victory in her career. And what a way to start. Her, no doubt, uh, amazing career ahead of her. I'll tell you, that's incredible. She has never been a champion before. This is her opportunity. She got it. She defeats Funny Bone for the title. But I tell you, Funny Bone's not done yet. History made with POW Pro Wrestling. Amira is POW's first female champion. What a story from being the ring girl to the interview girl, and now she's a champ. I've been wrestling for Pal Pro Wrestling since 2019. Not a single solitary person has ever beat me clean but you. Come here, right here in front of me. I've had that around my waist for the better part of two years. I've held this company on my back. This has been my home, and now it's yours. I seen you in the crowd when I first started here. You went from sitting right there, and now you're right here. You are not just the future of Pal Pro Wrestling. You're not the future of just Pacific North Wrestling. You are the fucking future of professional wrestling. Everybody in the back, everybody in the back knows it. Deep down inside, you're it. 
That's it! So you carry that belt with pride and make me and all these people as proud as possible, and I know you can do it. Funny Bone officially passing the torch, as it were, to the new champion, the new. I am honored to lose that to you. The ring is yours. Thank you for the match. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting. Be the champ I know you can be, or else. Point it words from Funny Bone. Taking it in right now, the champ with the mirror. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what a, what a, what a big thing for her to have accomplished tonight. You deserve it. 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 This means more to me than anything I could have dreamed of. Yeah! This isn't just for me, this is for every single one of you. <laughs> Thank you to Pal. Thank you to my best friends who introduced me to pro wrestling. One of them's right there. I don't have a lot to say other than thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Your opening remarks from the new PAL Pro Wrestling Champion, Amira. Started out as ring crew, made her way up to interview girl, put the time in, put in the sacrifices, and now she stands tall as your new PAL Pro Wrestling Champion. Who will challenge her next? Amazing story by Amira, the new champion. Join us next week here on PAL Pro Wrestling when former family members collide. Malcolm Flex is looking to get revenge against his former boss in the Massaro family, the nice guy, Vinny Massaro. Who's going to come out on top in that one? Find out and so much more next week here on PAL Pro Wrestling.